for the countdown. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Thank you. 
Jin took a step back and had a look at her aunt and uncle. They had no, they had no age a day since she left for London. But Jin Khalifa was telling her about her first night on her plane and how she nearly blew up during a slight trouble. After a while, Azri was no longer paying much attention to what her aunt was saying as they walked out of the airport. She saw the front of her uncle's face and wondered how he felt about Baduri's day. She would have to explain, explain everything to her sonar or letter. The glare of the afternoon sun welcomed her when they stepped into the car park. The trip home had only been about 24 hours but one whole day had been lost. Her up stopped less when they got into the car. They, they as the group grow strong and little village. Dancer, estate and block. Her chatter cast drastically. Half an hour later, they reached an old gate that jutting out into a stretch of sea. Azri got up from the car. Across the water, not a kilometer away, was a tiny island. It was a mere in the archipelago. Green hill woods and fields behind a land of coffee fish. And small kampung could be seen dotting the coast. It seemed sleepy and idyllic. idyllic, idyllic. But as in new, that behind those hills, I didn't safety from view was a village that had its own secret to keep. Guys, are you here? Yeah. yeah. All right, good. Okay. Uh, now before we start, I want to introduce the character that we are going to act after this. I, as the narrator of this uh, theater, so uh, first of all, I mean, and Koyu is going to uh, handle this uh, act. Okay, before that, we start from God. Nipaib, uh, Selmi, Gusti, Adri, Chukrai, and I mean, it's all going to be the rumor longer. Alright? <laughs>
as we want talking with Dati Sharifa in her room.
Thank you so much.